What's up guys, Colson here, Colson Tower Fishing. Today we're going to be going over my kayak setup and what I believe to be is the best tournament kayak setup I've ever seen. Let's get into this video. Okay y'all, so this is my Hobie Pro Angler 14 fishing kayak. This is the 180 drive, not the 360. So guys, I'm gonna attach the camera from the tripod and we're gonna start at the very front and work our way to the back and I'll show you everything on my Hobie Pro Angler 14 advanced tournament kayak. Okay, starting off at the front, we got this pulley system that was installed from the previous owner because I bought this kayak second hand. This band runs all along the side right here. We got a place for an anchor stick on the side, uh, multiple little attachments for running an anchor trolley. And uh, one of the things I actually just told myself the other day was this Burley Pro Bumper Heel Guard. This was like 50 bucks, it was a lot of money, but I had some dents in there, and I really wanted to make sure I did not kill my kayak, because this kayak is not exactly a cheap boat, so I wanna make sure it didn't get killed. Uh, right, coming up, y'all, we actually have this aftermarket deck pad that was installed by the previous owner, not me, uh, but that's pretty handy. And then moving on down here, we got this nice storage hatch. I filled it up with tackle and moved this tray right here. Boom, there we go. It's got, uh, I got tons of wires right in here. So I'm going to light, so light those right there. The one right here too. I got a foam charging port right here. It's kind of rusted in there actually. Uh, I did a saltwater tournament and uh, I got some salt water in there. I uh, forgot to close it up, so it kind of rusted. So I got to pull that out and put a new one in, which isn't that expensive. It's only like six bucks. Uh, but running down right here, I got all of that attached onto a Nokia Power Pro battery. I'm going to switch that out with a 7.5 amp hour battery from Amped Outdoors. Make sure you guys use code CTF10 on all Amped Outdoors products to save 10%. Again, guys, that's code CTF10 at AmpedOutdoors.com to save 10% on your high-end lithium batteries. Let's keep going. So right here, I got all my fuses and stuff attached and uh, more wires run that go to the fish finder. But I'll put that tray back in there and I'll keep walking down here. We got right here is, this already comes with the kayak. We got six rod holders, three in here, three in here. And they connect to these little attachments over here and you can run your rods in your kayak for when you, if you don't have a rod tube on your trailer or if you just want to get them out of the way so it's caught on trees or anything. So guys, this is the 2017 model so it does not come built in with the track along the sides right here. So we just got some nice mounting plates. The previous owner drilled holes in them and stuff. I'm not really a huge fan of drilling holes. I drilled two right here and I hated it. So I'm just going to leave that as is. And then we got the infamous Mirage Drive which is actually broke the other day while I was out with my brother so I had to replace the metal bar inside the fins which is kind of annoying. Uh, but now we got some straight fins and uh, the Mirage Drive is nice. I like it a lot. But as we keep going down, Hobie has these things that they put in there. All you got to do is unscrew it, pull it out and you can filter it into one of these grommets. These are all the closed one. I have all the, uh, the open ones for my fish finder. Uh, but they have little holes in them usually or you can drill out a hole if you'd like. And then all you have to do is just pull your fish finder wire and you can like mount your fish finder right here or here and boom, you got it right there and you don't have to drill any holes to mount your fish finder. So moving on to right here, one of the things I'm most excited about, this is my Garmin Ecomap 93SV. I got right here is I got it mounted on a uh, Hobie H-Rail Ram ball mount. And actually there, these right here, this right here, this uh, little ball mount thing, I found one of those that connected to there. It was just the little attachment like I got on there. I think it was like 60 bucks and I went to Walmart and found one that had actually a mounting plate. It was supposed to like mount right here and then it had it and it was like 19 bucks. So I just to uh, took the mounting plate off, put it on the ball mount. I'll actually put a picture of it right up here. Uh, but yeah, it was super, super cheap y'all. And it came with this little thing to mount it onto, which is pretty handy. But uh, I actually run a live scope on this. So I got my life scope transducer right here and I got this mounted on a ball mount also. So if I want to go ahead and turn it, so if I want to go perspective mode, all I have to do is do this like that and then boom, you got perspective mode. And what I have that attached to is I have it attached to this Hobie H-Rail, a little platform mount with a Navarre kayak fishing anchor stick mount that I had because I had it on my old kayak and I used to use it on there, but I did not want to get rid of this because I love this piece so much. So I just drilled a hole in here and uh, put this on there, put a piece of PVC that was spray painted black, PVC topper, a little plug right here so water doesn't get in it, and a little screw going through right here so I can move it side to side and know which way it's angled. Um, and then as we keep going down, obviously I got all the stickers, I got Trika, make sure you check out Trika rods, best rods on the market. Uh, but as we keep going down, I got this little patch right here. I don't know if it comes with the kayak. Generally, I actually had to buy another one because because when I got my kayak, one of them was not there. So this is what you put your rods in. You put them right here. Uh, but I'm not doing that right now. I actually got a knife right here. So if I ever need to pull out a knife quickly, I got like a seven inch blade just sitting right there. That's pretty handy. And uh, this is my anchor stick. I have it mounted on this paddle holder because my paddle actually is broken. I had to make it a one piece paddle rather than a two piece paddle, bend the metal back together and wrap it up in tape. 
uh, which is kind of annoying, but saved a good amount of money, so I do not use each one of these to hold each half of my paddle. I use this one for my anchor stick and the other one for my paddle on that side, uh, which I will go and after we go to the back. Or, then right here, y'all, you can drop the rudder and the skag. This comes with the kayak, obviously. This is the skag for better tracking. The rudder for uh, steering. Let me see if that's it's all the way pulled up. Uh, and then right here, these are steering. We have one right here and one on the other side too, which is nice, or dual steering is really nice. And as we keep going back, this is something I took from one of my favorite fishermen, Chad Hoover, and check out his channel, y'all. Uh, I liked how he had his back attack mounts running, so his rods were like this on the back. So I decided to just take this idea, but only make it be HRO, because this came with my kayak when I bought it, because I bought it aftermarket, and it came with a ton of extra stuff. Uh, so I put this right here on the A trail because this is the 2017 and uh, I think it was the 2015 They stopped doing the little a trail and they put the big a trail, which is really nice I really like that about this. Uh, so I put my rods that I'm gonna use a lot um, I have a clip that I put right here usually, but I don't have it on me right now So this is my big swim bait for a uh, rod and when I want to do frogging I just take off the spool and I put a different spool on full of bra uh, full of braid So I'm using that rod a lot this year and then I usually keep the rods I use the most right here so I can stick my arms back I got a spinning rod. This one's actually I'm gonna use more. This is my Trika 7 foot 5. Like I said, make you check out Trika rods, best rods on the market. Like I said, this is where I store my paddle. There's two of these plastic things, one on this side, one on that side. Um, but this right here, this crate, actually, I made it myself. I just spray painted this uh, box right here because I really did not want to spend all that money on one of those Yaka Tech Black Pack Pros. And then right here, y'all, this is what powers my life scope unit, or my life scope and my fish finder because the black box does take some power and so does the fish finder. So what I did right here is it's running off of 100 amp hour. It's kind of hard to see it because I have it tethered down. A 100 amp hour amped outdoors lithium battery, 12 volts. So you can get a ton of power out of that battery. I can run this live scope for like two days, uh, but you really want a lot of power for those. You really need a big battery when you're running big units like this and the black box. So as we keep going down, I have all of this wired wrapped in electrical tape. I have it all wired going through this grommet thing right here that was installed with the kayak. There was a hole right there. So I ran my fish finder uh, the cables through there. So it was just a lot cleaner than running it in here. Cause the, so I put one of these, I think it's Nuvuzi. It's like one of the Yak Attack. I actually like it more than the Yak Attack ones, uh, but it's really nice. I just ran my wire right through there. I have a nice neat fish finder set up. I hate the wires just going everywhere. It drives me crazy. Uh, but as we keep going down over here, we got all the wires ran internally and I'll actually open this up real quick and show you. Let me set the camera down. We got tons of wires inside the kayak, as you can see. Uh, I like to keep all of them in there. But as you can see, I got the black box right here. That's what runs my live scope. If I don't have that, I cannot run live scope. It's, if it's not plugged in, I cannot run live scope. I have to have that to run live scope. So that was important to me. As you can see down here, that's not going anywhere. I am using industrial Velcro. So what industrial Velcro is, it's like Velcro to the extreme. It's super duper tough, super duper sturdy. So you can pull, push, I can knock this kayak over, flip it. That thing's not going anywhere and I need to make sure that does not go anywhere because I can't just have my really, really expensive unit because that unit is not cheap at all. So I need to make sure that does not go anywhere. These are all the wires for the fish finder power. I think this is power right here. This is for the fish finder. Uh, this is the transducer, I believe. And uh, just cables everywhere. It's a disaster. Uh, but then right here, we got this crate. I think it usually comes with like something that holds two plano boxes, but you can buy this from Hobie aftermarket crate. Uh, just like that box in there. I don't know if that box in there comes. Uh, then right here, this came with it too. I probably would not have bought this uh, if it did not come with the kayak. Uh, it is meant for holding your drinks. So if you want to put like a cup of coffee in there, I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of people I see use it for beer or something. Uh, but yeah, you can just take your drinks on the water with you. So that's pretty nice. Um, but right here, we got another one of these. This is actually the updated model. You just take these straps and just pull it. Boom. And it's pretty nice. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is Hobie, the Hobie Pro Linkers have these really nice mesh puppets. I've actually never opened these up. These are from the previous owner. I'll probably take those out. But yeah, those are some nice features because when you're paying for this kayak, you want to make sure you get a lot out of it because if it's just going to be a bare kayak, it'd be kind of pointless. Uh, and I actually got this little uh, Hobie. Uh, I got this little Hobie plug right here so when I'm not on the water, I can plug this up. When I am on the water, I just take my Mirage Drive put it in there it's actually not going to be able to go all the way down because it's touching the ground and then I can just pedal back and forth it's pretty nice uh, but I like to have something right there for if I'm going in really shallow water 
and I don't want to like drop something that goes in there but that is basically like a gigantic upper because this kayak is lined with the tongue but has none over here like most kayaks but y'all one thing I love about this kayak is it's wide really really wide and that's what I love about it is that I think it's like 42 inches across it's really generous space for kayak fishing one of the things I really like about this kayak is the Hobie Vantage seat the seat is super duper nice nicest seat I've ever felt so y'all thank you so much for watching this episode of Colson's Air Fishing just code CTF10 to save 10% on all your amped outdoors batteries but y'all that is my tournament setup for 2023 I'm sure there'll be some add-ons there may be a trolling motor right here y'all but that is my tournament setup like I said thank you so much for watching this episode of Colson's Air Fishing please like and subscribe I will see you in the next episode